All right, greetings YouTube and fellow cigar box guitarists. Del Puckett here, and in this video I wanna talk about neck wood. Neck wood. And things to keep in mind when you're choosing your next piece of wood for your next cigar box guitar neck. So first thing I wanna start off by saying is that beggars can't be choosers. I realize that, and I'm a chief beggar. And I beg, borrow, and steal. I look for wood. I look for opportunities for uh, reuse and repurpose everywhere, whether it's garage sales, rummage sales, uh, construction sites, uh, old pallets, whatever, whatever the case is. Uh, I'm constantly looking for wood to build necks out of. That being said, I've had success with just about every kind of wood there is, um, whether it's uh, dug fir, pine, oak, mahogany, ash, oak, did I already say oak, uh, maple, whatever the case is, I've had good and bad luck. Even with plywood, I've had good luck. But that being said, I wanted to pass along a, a few tidbits and things to look for that, for you so that, that you can make uh, good choices the next time you, ha you have a, an opportunity to choose wood. Does that make sense? First thing you want to look for is wood with vertical grains. And make sure that those grains are parallel to the length of your neck. Okay, so this is a good example here of nice tight grains. And this, is, this one here is a piece of dug fir. But these are the vertical grains that I was talking about, as opposed to horizontal grains, okay? So what you would want to steer away from horizontal grains and steer toward vertical grains. And you can think about think about this is that like the trusses or the joists in your house. If you have a long span, you're going to want to put those boards up and down like this so that they don't bow. If you turn them sideways, right, then the chances for them bowing are increased, especially if you have a long span, right? So we're going to be, we're going to be applying that same theory to our guitar neck and we're going to be choosing pieces of wood that have vertical grains. But what if it's at an angle um, say, for example, like this piece of oak. Well, it's still okay as long as, number one, it's straight to begin with. And when I say straight, I look at all four corners and I just eyeball it and make sure there's no bow, there's no warp, there's no twist, right? So it has to be straight to begin with. And then, of course, I look at these grains. Are they tight? Number one. And are they more vertical than horizontal, number two? So these are things that I keep in mind when I'm choosing a piece of wood for a neck material. Now you can also find wood that has vertical grains, but they're not very close together. They're not very dense, right? And it's actually kind of lightweight. So this is a piece of dug fir from a, I got from a construction site. You can see the, the corner there, right? And it's got the nice vertical grains, but Here's a, here's a piece of dug fir also that's got tight grains. They're more of an angle. Now these are both some very straight pieces of wood to begin with, right? But I would use the one with the tight grain as opposed to the one with the vertical but farther apart grain. Does that make sense? Um, let's see here, even pine. Okay, so here, here's a nice piece of pine that I've actually already started, started working on, but look how tight that grain is. And again, vertical grains. And you can see that these grains go up and down. It's kind of hard to see in this video here, but they're parallel to the length of the fretboard. So again, this, is, this would be perfect, perfect for a neck. Um, this one here, same thing. It's a piece of pine, but it's very straight, super straight. And these grain lines run parallel. I'll try to stop some of that back backlight. I don't know if you can see that or not, but those grain lines are parallel to the length of the neck. Um, even like fretboard material, I went and I got these rulers, right? And then what I did is I counted the little grain lines 
on the bottom one here, I'm not really sure if, you can, if it translates in the video here, but there's 39 little grains on here, as opposed to this guy that's got two, right? So I would use the one that's got the 39, and they're all vertical, look at that, 39 vertical lines. And you can see, hopefully, the grain in that piece of wood here. So, vertical grains that run parallel to the length that are tight. Those are what you want to look for in your neck material.